Hey guys, this is Solar Gray coming at you for Back in the Deck Coffee and Conversation. And today I'm at Maximum Comics in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I stand here with one of the many workers here by the name of Tim. Or may I call you Tim? Yeah, Tim sounds fine. Fantastic. All right, so yeah, I'm out here. Um, I'm out here for a different event, but I saw you guys out here and I'm like, okay, all right, let's, um, let's go in. Let's talk to some of these guys and see what's going on. So um, we can see that this store does comics, games, definitely toys and maquettes. So what's the section that you spend most of your time at? Um, well, my realm of expertise is the, the gaming section. Uh, we have, we've got a, like a big selection of like, uh, things like magic cards, Pokemon cards, um, hero clicks, just a bunch of like these, these tabletop games that uh, get a lot of people together and it's like some friendly competition. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, we, um, we've done a few battle reports on Heroclix and um, War Machine and a few other games. Fantastic. So what is the game that really keeps this place alive? Around the country, there are a lot of different stores, but most of them are kept really afloat by Magic the Gathering because, you know, it's the law. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the main store or the main game? other than Magic the Gathering, that this store is really keeping you busy with as the game guy? Uh, well, uh, Magic's certainly, certainly a big part. It's not the biggest mm -hmm. uh, for our store, just because we're in competition with like a lot of other stores that are nearby. Um, so the games that a lot of people flock here to are uh, actually Heroclix, the little tabletop game that's essentially chess with superpowers. Oh, wow, Heroclix. Mm -hmm. All right, so we finally found a click-centric store. We, um, we like to tell people... That when you're thinking about hero clicks, you know those conversations that you have in the comic store of who can kick whose butt? Mm -hmm. Take it to the table. That's all we say. Exactly. All right. So, um, is there a casual community here, or is it mainly tournament or rock exclusive stuff? Uh, well, we there are uh, levels of casual play. Uh, we do have two tournaments a week. And uh, on several occasions, we've actually hosted WizKids Opens, which are like these big, uh, these big events hosted by WizKids. And then we just, you know, we we offer a place it's like, hey, you know, come play here. And then WizKids provides like several, you know, different prizes and things like that. And there's a lot of notoriety. And uh, on a few occasions, we've had this store host um, HeroClicks events and Dice Master events, um, just like just like as a big weekend tournament kind of a thing. And it's and it's been a lot of fun. Now, Dice Master is one of the other games by WizKids, is it not? Yes. Uh, it's a, uh, it came up a couple years ago. Um, it's mostly like Marvel and DC characters, but they've occasionally branched off into um, other properties as well. Okay, and since WizKids Games is not paying us to talk about all their products, what are some of the other games that you play? Uh, well, for me, uh, outside of uh, Magic, the other games that I play are just sort of like... Um, casual fun games there's love letter and the different subsets of love letter um legendary the deck building games um let's see there's a lot of munchkin like there's different levels of munchkin that i that i really have a lot of fun time playing the other subset of gaming law yeah exactly um i don't there's there's not enough time for me to like learn all of the games that I want to play so I'm just sort of tacitly aware of all of the games that are going on here and just like in my other social circles that's completely understandable now um, as the gaming person what would you say that for Maximum Comics the gaming philosophy is for this store uh, one of the bigger bigger things that we try to that we pride ourselves in is to have fun uh, we do occasionally have a, a good level of competition but um, it's not to the point where people are very cutthroat or will yell at each other if there's a, if there's a misplay or, or something to that nature. So it's, it's you, you want to test out your skills, but, it, but not so much so that you um, detract, or not detract, but uh, discourage people from, from playing. Because you don't, you don't build your player base that way. You what are you talking about? We've had so many fun games where we go, remember that one time we were yelling at each other for that one rule that we, <laughs> that we barely knew about? Good times. <laughs> right. So um, our thing is just that we want to encourage a lot of people to, to, to come play. 
um, just because we, we want to have them to have a good time. We want to de- have people to develop some hobbies. And, of course, since we're you know, selling the products, there's a, there's a little bit of a market advantage to that too. But mostly it's just for people to have, to have a good time. And so that's why we're encouraging things like Euroclix. That's why we're encur- encouraging deck building for Magic. That's why we're um, talking about strategies for Dice Masters, things, all of these things. Well, fantastic. Um, one of the things that we focus on here at BidP is showing the rest of the world, especially the people that are coming into different towns, what stores would be good for um, women, LGBT, people of color, and essentially open communities that come through the stores. Would you say that Maximum Comics is one of the places they should come? I would certainly say so. Um, we're always in, we always encourage new, new players to come in. Um, I know that gaming, for the most part, is kind of a, a male-dominated uh, structure, but that's that's not that's not something that we're like exa- exactly proud of or whatever. We're, we want everybody to sort of come in. It's just that um, you know, just for the most part, it's it's you know males. But if other people come in, it's like, hey, why don't, you, why don't we sit down? Let me teach you how to play. Let's let's get a let's get a team going for you. Let's let's build a deck together. That sort of thing. So you have sort of tutorial workshops and demos for people that might want to be interested coming in and are afraid to talk to, say, their significant others who are tournament players? Mm-hmm. So uh, we do occasionally have, like, de- uh, you know, de- demos and uh, team building exercises for these sorts of things. Uh, for myself, I run open houses for Magic every time a new set's about to come out. Um, our other gaming guy, Dustin, has board game demonstrations, and we have game days where you know just a bunch of people come in, have a good time, play a couple board games. Um, again, it's all in, the, all in the name of spirited competition, but a lot of fun. And I want to thank you, Tim, for taking this time out with me. And I want to tell all of you guys out there that if somebody tells you you can't like what you like because of the circumstances of your birth, you just tell them to take that card and put it back in the deck. This is Solar Gray signing out. So, yeah, now we pretend like we're talking to each other a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to talk seriously. Thanks. Sure. Absolutely. Seriously.